Are you gonna have fun well, on your on your excavator? So much fun. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I wonder just how, I've never really looked at these things, so I wonder just how tiny the, uh, the seat is. Oh, it's open. It's not enclosed. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for Lexi. Yeah, I think she's. I don't, I don't think she's gonna leave the rest of the cows. She's still in there with Brutus. How's it going? Hi. All right. <laughs> Today is the big day, as you can see in the background here. We've got the electrical that needs to be ran, so we are running underground power with FPNL. And we are running off of. Oh, he needs me. What? Okay. Paperwork. Paperwork. So, in the background, that pole is the one that we are going to be running off of. And we'll be sending it diagonally underground. So, we have to dig a trench that is about 150 feet long and 36 inches deep to run underground power. Now, what was really cool, and we didn't realize this, um, and I don't think a lot of people do realize this, but FPNL, when you're building a new construction, FPNL will take the details, the, the specs on your house, such as like air conditioner, size, tonnage, uh, size of your home, such and such, and they will calculate a rough estimate of the expected revenue that they will get from you over the course of, I can't remember if it was two or four years. The first, I think it's the first four years they'll calculate the estimated revenue that they will make from you. And then they will calculate the total estimated cost of installing the electrical. And then they will deduct their anticipated revenue from you from the total cost. So even though we are running underground electrical, it's costing us nothing because of that. And the fact that we are digging the trench and laying the pipe and everything ourselves, which takes off, I believe it was like $4.79 or something like that per linear foot. So that took off quite a chunk at 100, I think it was like, like I said, I think it's like just under 150 feet of length. So 150 times four, I'm horrible at math, so I'm not gonna do that right now, but it's somewhere in the ballpark of like 500 to $700 saved on top of that. So we rented a mini excavator because even though we are spending a little bit of money, that's still cheaper than if we would have hired FPNL to do it. So Davis is digging the trench, and then today is the big day. Big Mac is going to the freezer. So um, he will be missed. Um, we definitely want to honor his sacrifice and thank him for that, but we'll be very happy to have a full freezer. We don't have the setup right now to do it ourselves, unfortunately, but we found someone who will do it. And then we found a local grocer that will um, process the carcass for us. Actually not badly, I think it was like 75 cents per hanging weight of the carcass. So I'm excited to see how much we get out of him. Because I mean, he is a miniature Jersey. He's, he's short, he's short and he's a Jersey. So we'll see, we'll see. It's so slow. It's not meant for the horse race. So. <laughs> Davis has his toy. Can't stop now, I'm sorry. Davis is off-roading with the mini excavator. Already having a little too much fun. Not you. Wow. This thing's cool. We should get one. What do you say, babe? Let's order one off of Alibaba. Yeah, right. <laughs> you get one on Alibaba for $4,000. I know, right? I don't know why, but all I can think of is Toy Story. The Claw. The Claw. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. Little horse is finally finding her place in the herd. She was always uh, at the bottom of the totem pole, so to say. 
So she is not a leader. She's not food aggressive. She's just kind of here, which is okay. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, baby. Hi, so pretty girl. Hi, baby. Hi, so good girl. Yes, you're a pretty girl. I can't wait to get you body clipped. What are you looking at? Oh, oh, did Luke? <laughs> Luke found us. Why? Why is that pretty girl? Why is that pretty girl? Oh. <laughs> She's finding her own in the pasture. Luke! Oh, another big thing happening today is Luke and I are running our first um, jackpot show. Hey, handsome. Um, that's gonna be a separate vlog in its own, but we gonna kick butt tonight, buddy. We gonna kick butt tonight. Mwah. You gonna be a good boy? You gonna kick butt tonight? Mwah. We gonna kick butt tonight. You go hang out. That's a deep hole. So is it pretty easy to control? What? Pretty easy to control? For me. <laughs> I couldn't do it? What? You don't think I could do it? It'd take you a little while. <laughs> You're moving at a pretty good pace now. All right, update on the job. Davis is doing really good. He's that little white post, that's our mark. That's where the transformer box is gonna go. So that is all that's left. It's almost done. <clears throat> Just got back from taking Big Mac. We had gave him big huge thank yous and just let him know that we appreciate him. We appreciate him very much and we will be very happy. We're sad. We're sad to see him go. We're gonna miss him but I feel good knowing that I know he had a good life and he was happy. He was able to just enjoy being out on the pasture. He had plenty of acreage to roam and eat and uh, he could just be a cow. And that's the whole, the biggest thing that we wanna do is we want to, the animals that we raise with the intention of being food, we give them a good life and they only have one bad day. And that's their last day. So. I feel, I feel like we did that with Big Mac. I feel like we gave him a really good life and he was happy up until the end. And we're gonna be really happy to have a full freezer. So. The other cows seem like they're doing pretty good. I'm sure they, I'm sure they notice one of their herd missing. So I'm sure some of their, they'll probably be looking for them for the next few days. But we are going to, we're gonna try our hands. I told them to save his hide because we're gonna try our hands at tanning. So we'll see how that goes. We might not, might not work, but it would have gone to waste anyways. So why not try and use as much of him as possible? Unfortunately, given that he's being processed off-site we're not doing it ourselves uh, we were gonna kind of get our hands dirty and get into it with them but because it conflicts with the barrel show tonight we don't have time we're not gonna be able to but eventually when we have either have a tractor or have access to one we'll start doing this ourselves so we have more hands-on we're more involved and we know exactly what's going on and then at that point we'll be able to use a lot more from him Coming up on the four hour mark. We got about 45 minutes, I believe, till our period is up. But look at how much he's gotten done. I don't even want to see how deep that thing is. Yeah? Yeah. Three feet deep. That's how deep we got. We had to dig it. Yeah, you can walk up and look. Just be careful, don't get too close, okay? Yeah!
<laughs> Are we done? That's it. Woo! Dirty. I'm a little sweaty. I'm tired. But trench is dug and we got a pad set up for a transformer box. That looks pretty legit. We got, I said, minimum six foot by six foot pad so that it, if there is some flooding, it's at least up out of the water. You think that's about a half foot tall or maybe? About oh, sweet, we got, it. we got a foot off the ground. Definitely wasn't easy doing that by hand though. But we got the trench dug all the way down. Gonna get this finished up and then go home, have some lunch, and then start getting ready for the uh, barrel show. Getting all the snuggles, bathing in the sun. Hi, babies. Those are my babies. Hi, dear babies. Oh, I know. Oh, look at all the chin scratches. Oh, I'm yo yo. You won't get the chin scratches. Is that what you want? the chin scratches yes you want the chin scratches oh brutus is just a big teddy bear hey dear baby oh i know oh it feels so good the chin scratches oh baby see this this is the kind of life we want for our steers we're going to give them all kinds of love let them feel loved, let them be happy. Yes, you get the best life. You get spoiled rotten, fat and sassy. Lexi. Lexi, you're starting to get a cow face, baby. You're not looking so much like a calf. Yes, oh my gosh, you guys are just sweet. Is that right, Lexi? Are you just a sweetie? Oh, Brutus, he says, where's my chin scratches? Oh, my babies, yeah.